hey everyone welcome to technical voice so so far we have seen that how we can call the uh, rest apis of the paypal from c sharp code now from this video we will see that uh, how the recurring and subscription based uh, payments works in paypal okay so first of all we need to understand the flow what would be the workflow and how we can create a subscription what is plan what is product okay so if I navigate to postman so in order to create subscription we need a plan as we have seen in last video that how we can create the plan and uh, if we go to the plan you can see that in order to create plan there are also other uh, properties or attributes but we also need a product ID and if we go to create product you can see that it is something that the name of the product and the type is service and description and blah blah so first let's understand what is the product so usually uh, I would say most of the time when you are uh, getting some subscription uh, the product is actually a service okay for example if we take the example of the Netflix so you are getting the service to get you know unlimited movies or the seasons or you know this is not a you know actual thing or you know the uh, it's not a physical thing okay but it could be a uh, case where you uh, get the recurring payment or subscription where you get some physical thing so you need to create a product for this so we already have one product and then we create a plan so what is plan in in the last video we have seen that how we can create a plan from the C sharp code so plan is basically a plan so what would be it is it the monthly based is it a yearly based is it the daily based or is it a you know a yearly based plan okay so that is take the product ID and then the name of the plan then description and then the billy, billing cycles so the billing cycles are basically that uh, is there any trial period or uh, is and then the regular period and how M many cycles uh, for example if you set 20, uh, 12 then the recurring payments uh, will go to the 12 months if we set the month interval unit is month so we can also set the day we can set the week we can set the month and we can set the year okay and once we create the plan then when some user need you know a subscription we need to set the plan okay so depending on your uh, website requirement or your application requirement you can create the plan you can uh, maybe customer uh, has some you know uh, some UI that where he, he can select the plan ID I mean select the plan or create you know custom plan so we have the plan ID okay and then we are uh, have some you know who is the subscriber it's the detail of the user and once we send the request we will get the uh, you know uh, response where we have a link the approval link that we will redirect our user to this URL and then uh, we also need to set the return URL of uh, our uh, when we are creating uh, you know subscription we need to send that what is our return URL once user has uh, give approval or if user cancel what would be the return URL so most of the case it would be your uh, application URL okay so in the la in the next video uh, we will uh, create the subscription through our C sharp code okay thanks bye bye